Welcome to Ricky Raceway, the site of the hardest hit from last season, a big four car wreck. And that wreck was tremendous. Now, we're not going to show a highlight of that, but that was coming out of the trial there on the front stretch. So you got to be careful coming out of there. Don't get loose. Don't let somebody get into your left quarter panel because you're going to go for a scary and wild ride. Now, anyways... On the pole for today's race is Philip Tringali. Starting second is Paul Sardinia. Third is Austin Alves. And fourth is Peyton Goodwin. So we will go for 30 laps of racing here for the last race before the chase. So forgot to announce certain drivers will be changing rides after today's race. Peggy Bowling is going to be driving the 43 afterwards. Derek Futter will be driving the 4. Kate Rogers will be driving the 83. Franklin Nance will be driving the 78. Gene Evans will be leaving the series. This is his last race. Unless he wins tonight, he can get in the LCQ. Carol Futter will move to the 31. Um, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Those are the drivers moving. So Derek Fletcher will remain on Stort Haas Racing. They just finally found some sponsorship for him. It's Philip Chingali leading, looking for that first win of the season here. For RCR. It's Austin Owls. He's looking for his third win? Fourth win. Austin Ellis is looking for his fourth win. We already have a caution. Caution is out. Philip Tringali in the race lead. Oh man, big wreck. Michael Naylor, Franklin Ayers, Michael Amato, Peggy Bowling, Stephanie Manas, Oh, Brenda Harala, Kate Rogers, John Linares, Jim Morton. Scott Greeny, Benjamin Mimosa, we have a big pileup. So, let's see what caused this one. Uh, it's somewhere up here, and oh, yep, 17 gets right into Peggy Bowling. Uh, right into the 56. And, oh, does Michael Santos bring the one back up the track? Yeah, he does. Boom! And then the 81 is going to get into him. Look at the three car on a lot of other drivers here. Making it through barely. Oh, and then that's where the 48 gets into the 15. And they get involved. Nine barely makes it the three. And then, oh, Michael Parker has nowhere to go. Gets into the 81. A lot of good cars damaged and taken out early on in today's race. Now this happens to Austin Alves here as they are slowing down. He tries to go underneath. He's going to get into the 32. He hits the wall. And oh my goodness, he, get, he flips coming back onto the track. Michael Kenny gets involved, Paul Sardinia, Peyton Goodwin. And Alves ruined a lot of drivers' day doing that stunt. So we're getting ready to go back racing. Um, we only have 25 cars left in the race, guys. You, It was a pretty big wreck. Cars out of the race, Carol Fletcher, Austin Alves. Peggy Bowling, Jim Morton, Kate Rogers, Benjamin Mimoso, Amy Madeira, Scott Greeny, Ryan Shea, Michael Jenkins, Kate Harala, Michael Parker, Benjamin Dion, John Linares, Stephanie Vanoss, Nathan Rogers, and Brenda Harala are all ahead of the race. So with hopefully now that we have only 25 cars left, we should be able to go green. Top 10 rundown, Philip Tringale, Logan Scott, Samuel York, Micah Kidney, Peyton Goodwin, Gene Evans. 
James Francis, Cindy Vieira, Tony Vieira, and Zachary Rogers. Logan's, I mean, Samuel York is still looking for his first career Cup Series win. He is not in any of the minor series due to how good he did last season, and he's been doing good this season too, but he is still needing that first win. Can he get it tonight? And in a minute, once these guys get up to speed, we will see who indeed is the slowest drivers here. As Peyton Goodwin is diving underneath his um are they teammates. Teammates out of forward racing. And now Peyton Goodwin is looking for second. Logan Scott looking for his third win of the season. Philip Tringali is still looking for his first. Now we will check to see who the slow cars are. Michael Naylor, Michael Amato, Paul Sardinia, Karen Peter Sands, Michael Santos, Michael Beeson, Steve Cavallo, Sneaker Tringali is pitting. Who else is pitting? Michael Kidney's pitting too. As James Francis winner back at eight bowl. Cindy Vieira, who took a vicious hit back at uh, Michigan last season. She's running up here looking for her first win in the series. Tane Evans knows if he doesn't win tonight, he's done. He also knows if he does win tonight, he needs to finish top three in the last chance qualifier. Yes, let me tell you something, guys. He is down there in points. Anyways, Phil Trincali is maintaining the current lead. Current, oh, we are under caution. Second time today. Oh, Cindy Vieira is involved. Logan Scott appears to be involved. The 22 and the double zero might be involved as well. So let's take a look and see what happened. They're coming up on the slow car of Michael Amato. And oh, the 88 and the 97 get together. And the 88 comes back right into the 97 into James Francis. And that's going to just spin them all out. Look out. Oh, those drivers made it back up to the top just in time. Because that would have been deadly. So a small three-car spin. And great dodge by these three right here. No cars out of the race after that incident. However, the 51 is a lap down, as is the 24. But the 24 is more on the tail end of being two laps down. Nico Tringali is on the tail end of the lead lap. So the top 10 is Philip Tringali first, second Sam York, third Daniel Canero, fourth Peter Sands, fifth Tony Vieira, sixth Zachary Rogers, seventh Peyton Goodwin, eighth Gene Evans, ninth Allison Rogers, and tenth in his last race in that sponsorless Chevy is Derek Fletcher. So this will be an interesting restart. We will be halfway done. So who will it be today? So Philip Tringali out in the lead, by the way. Fastest lap goes to Sydney Vieira, 34.119. Great move by the 29, being able to duck down. Then we gotta watch the 24 car is slow. Oh, is he gonna hold up the 51? He's holding up Zachary Rogers. Race this exact same car here. 
last season, and he got a top five finish. Almost won this race, but that went to Carol Fletcher instead. As the 24 is holding up these few drivers. As now he ducks inside. Excuse me. I'm burping. These other drivers are going to get by nice and fine, and... Who knows, that might just set, split them out right. Philip Tringali leading, Samuel York is in second. Here's another driver who hasn't won a race in this series yet. That's Peter Sands. He is looking for a win. Daniel Carnero has yet to win this year in this series. He just won his first Code Red race back at Montreal, and we have a caution. Cindy Vieira has been spun out again. Adam Rogers involved. Oh, Michael Amato finally got trashed. Tony Vieira is also involved. So we're going to have to take a look at this one. Well, here it is. The 93 is going to get into Michael Amato. He's going to go up the track and he gets hit. And then actually the 99 gets... There's the 71. The 97... Oh, Tony Vieira getting in the wall. And then Adam Rogers has nowhere to go. And look at that bump. And Cindy Vieira slamming on the brakes. Let's take another look at this. If you watch here, the 99 gets into Cindy Vieira. And she spins out there. Catches it, hits the wall. Tony Vieira slams the 24 and then slams the inside wall. Tough hit. Adam Rogers has nowhere to go. Man, we're going to go on board with the 71 here. On board with Tony Vieira. Oh, and Cindy gave him a tap there too. Tough break for the 71 team. We're going to go green with nine laps to go. They might have to pit again. They might not. Anyway, cars now out of the race. Michael Amato, Tony Vieira, Adam Rogers, and Michael Naylor. Your top ten rundown is Philip Tringali first, Samuel York second, Peter Sands third, Daniel Gennaro fourth, Zachary Rogers is in fifth, Gene Evans sixth, Mike Kennedy, never mind, Frank Lanier seventh, Sheila Sullivan eighth, Nico Tringali not, never mind again, Michael Santos ninth, and Allison Rogers tenth. I'm forgetting cars that are locked down here. Oh, wait, is it the... I don't even know. Samuel York and Peter Sands both looking for their first career win in this top series. And they've been racing for almost full two seasons now. Green flag is back out. We are back on the way. Peter Sands making the mistake of going high. Allows Daniel Carnero to look down low. Zachary Rogers almost won this race last season. Can he do it this time? Looking for that second win this season. He has had many chances. And Peter Sands is finding himself dropping back. Gene Evans is all over the back bumper of the three car. Samuel York and Philip Tringali leading. And now we should not have to deal with anybody else, hopefully. Michael Beeson's going fast enough to stay up here. As now Gene Evans ducking down low on the three after pushing themselves up to third and fourth, respectfully. If Zachary Rogers can get back down in time, he could keep fourth. And he will. He ducks back down for fourth. There's Daniel Carnero in fifth. Now Gene Evans is going to try to duck below Samuel York here for second. Now it's still early. We still have seven to go. Come to the line this time. Now Gene Evans is going to duck down low for the lead right now. Gene Evans ducking to the race lead. He knows he has to win to be in the LCQ and to extend his rookie season. Zachary Rogers moves into second, like we had stated earlier. He almost won this race last season. He could be looking to do it this time. Now Samuel York is looking for third. Lap down car of Nico Tringali and Mike Akinney. And Logan Scott's helping them use them to push his positions up and push Daniel Carnero back. 
Philip Chingari falls from first to fourth. Samuel York is third. Then there's Zachary Rogers in second. Gene Evans is first. Fastest car on the track was Cindy Vieira and then Gene Evans. Gene Evans continuing the lead. As I said, there's no way they're going to catch any of these guys back here. Ooh, ooh, Peyton Goodwin's getting testy back here with a 93 car. As I stated, Derek Fletcher will be glad to change his number to four and use some cars that have sponsorship. Gene Evans still in the lead with five to go. And the three cars not been able to gain up any ground. Now Steve Cavallo has snuck up the fifth. Peter Sands and Daniel Kinnear are both back down here near the bottom of the top ten. Samuel York's probably going to make his move on the three. He is faster. As Logan Scott is now looking under the 44. Logan Scott looking to get by and get in contention for the win here as Philip Shingali is going to come up too. Samuel York used the three car to get himself closer. And now the 32 can't make it done. That three car is just that fast. Three to go. Logan Scott and Philip Tringali coming back into the mix. Steve Cavallo gets the door shut on him. Nico blocking for his brother Philip. Telling him to try to go get that one and join him in the last chance qualifier if Nico will indeed be in that section. Zachary Rogers still in second place. Now Philip Tringali is look, looking to come back for the win here. Nico, Tring, Nico Tringali is holding off Steve Cavallo. Philip Tringali passing up to fourth. Two to go. Michael Beeson, I do not think Michael Beeson will come into play. But it's these top six that are in the contention for the win. More like top four now. As Philip Tringali was looking for Samuel York, but he did not have the draft help. White flag in the air. One more lap to go. Can Gene Evans hold him off? They're just not fast enough. They cannot get up there in time. Some cars pit. They could not make it. Philip Tringali was looking for third, maybe, but that's not going to happen. Coming out of turn four for the last time. Gene Evans is going to extend his career for one more race. He wins at Ricky Raceway and gets himself in the last chance qualifier. So Gene Evans is going to win tonight at Ricky Raceway. So this will be his... um. Possibly last race in the series. Zachary Rogers second. Same New York third. Fourth is Philip Tringali. Fifth is Logan Scott. Sixth, Steve Cavallo. Seventh, Sheila Sullivan. Eighth is Kara Franklin Ayers. Ninth, Daniel Canero. Tenth, Peter Sands. Then Peyton Goodwin, Michael Santos, James Francis, Paul Sedin, and Nico Tringali a lap down in fifteenth. Mike Kidney, Derek Fletcher, Allison Rogers, Karen Vieira, Cindy Vieira, twentieth. And then Michael Beeson, 21st. Cars that did not finish the race. Michael Naylor, Adam Rogers, Tony Vieira, Michael Amato, 25th. Carol Fletcher, Austin Owls, Peggy Bowling, Jim Morton, and Kate Rogers, 30th. Benjamin Mimoso, Amy Madeira, Scott Greeny, Ryan Shea, Michael Jenkins, 35th. And then Kate Harala, Michael Parker, Benjamin Dion, John Linares, Stephanie Vinas, 40th. Nathan Rogers, and Brenda Harala. So that's it for NBC. As FX will take over for all chase races. Um, and I will talk to you soon for who is in the chase. And who is going to be the wild cards. And who will be in the last chance qualifier. This guy right here in the 34. He will definitely be one of those drivers. So 
I will be right back to tell you who is going to be in the chase, the LCQ, and who the wild cards are. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm uh, here to tell you who is in the chase for the Voltage Cup Series and who will have to go through the last chance qualifier if they want to have a chance. So it was close, I have to admit. But um, here's the deal. The following drivers were top 10 in points. First in points is Torin Vieira. He had three wins. Steve Cavallo and Logan Scott had two. Nico Tringali, Michael Beeson, Michael Parker, and Brenda Rorala all had one. And the three drivers that made the top 10 without a win were Ryan Chase, Samuel York, and Adam Rogers. Now here is the interesting thing about the wild card. We had three drivers with three wins. Peyton Goodwin, Austin Owls, and Scott Greeny. Now here we go. As I look at the points, I see Austin Owls, who was 13th in points, who was 13th in points with three wins. I see Scott Greeny, who's 16th in points with three wins. Then I see Peyton Goodwin, who was 12th in points with three wins. So that tells you that Peyton Goodwin and Austin Owls made it the wild card. And now, that also tells you Scott Greeny will be in the last chance qualifier. Other driver that had two wins in the last chance qualifier is Derek Fletcher. Drivers in the last chance qualifier with one win apiece. John Linares, James Francis, Peggy Bowling, Zachary Rogers, Gene Evans, who just won Ricky Raceway, who will have to finish top three if he wants to prolong his season. Otherwise, we'll be doing a little special thing that I will explain after that last chance qualifier race. And then Jim Morton. Now, do these following drivers are in via pole. And as I look for them, Peter Sands is in via pole. He had one. Daniel Carnero is in. He had two. Mm. Michael Jenkins is in. He had one. And then Philip Tringali. Is also in. He had three. That is the only reason he is in the last chance qualifier. So I will see you guys for the last chance qualifier. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve drivers in this last chance qualifier as well. So the top three will advance to the chase. So, I'll see you for the last chance qualifier race.